Merry Christmas, everyone! Here's our reading for today, December 24, 2019, Tuesday. First reading is taken from the second book of Samuel, chapter 7, verses 1 to 5, 8 to 12, 14, A, and 16. When King David was settled in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am, living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you. And I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old. Since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel, I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that He will establish a house for you. And when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your ear after you sprang from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. Sorry, al -Sam. Let the response be, Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. Response, Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Response, forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say of me, You are my father, my God, the rock, my Savior, forever I will maintain my kindness toward Him, and my covenant with Him stands firm. Response, forever I will see the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. O radiant dawn, splendor of eternal life, Son of Justice, Come and shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death. Alleluia, Alleluia. Our Gospel reading is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 67 to 69. Zechariah, his father, filled with the Holy Spirit, prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, 
for he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hand of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called a prophet at the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The Gospel of the Lord My dear friends, thank you once again for watching and listening in today's readings. I hope you will also share these readings. Thank you once again. God bless you all and Merry, 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 Merry Christmas to one and all.